welcome to this week's video where I, we have a challenge. We have a challenge. A cardboard box challenge. I think like two weeks ago, Mr. Carrington sent me, I'll pop the video in here. It was this guy on Instagram making the coolest cat big tree house and he was using like tape. I don't think he was using like any glues or anything. I think he actually made his own glue as well. You even said it to me and he's like, I think we need to do a cat house challenge. And I was like, yes. Yes, we do. That will be something fun. I think you guys will enjoy watching it. You might get some ideas for yourself. I ha I don't think me and Mr. Carrington have done a challenge in ages. For anybody who doesn't know who Mr. Carrington is, where have you been? I will pop a link to his channel in the description box. I'll pin a comment to the video for his cat recycled house. I mean, I don't want to make it a competition. I think he's gonna, I think his will be better though. Now, his kittens, pumpkins and mittens, I think they're a year old now. I think they might be. If you want a double dose of kitten and cat content, then definitely head on over to Mr. Carrington's website after you watch this one. Say hello. And yeah, for anyone who's in, Mr. Carrington is like my London buddy. Anytime I visit London, I don't think there's any time I've visited and I have not met Mr. Carrington for a point. The amount of times I've nearly missed my plane and he has had to shuffle me onto the Gatwick Express from Victoria, from the pub across the road. We've had we've had a few funny stories over the years. Yeah, he's my pal. I think the last time he was in one of my videos was we both got passes for the Chelsea Flower Show. Um, we went to a kitten and cat cafe afterwards in Westfield in London. Um, so that was around about May time. So if you scroll back on the videos to May, you'll find that it's the one with Chelsea Flower Show. This is what I am thinking. I have this big box, which has already been chewed on the inside, thanks to Bon and Bjorg. But I am thinking, I am thinking townhouse. A cat doll slash townhouse. A door windows because Bon and Bjorg are quite small at the moment so they like putting the swiping their paws through little holes so windows 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 side ones and then I can use one of these panels to make shelves on the inside for them to jump up My only concern is sturdiness so if I had a second, maybe just two layers, I'm looking at the size of Bon and Bjorg there. What if it was one shelf <laughs> going across? What do you think Bjorg? I think a shelf in the middle so they can jump up. Yeah, but I need to figure out about the weight, weight in the bottom. I could do, use a piece of wood to add weight to the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to begin by attempting, get my sharpie and my ruler. Don't fall babes, don't fall babes. Okay, the cat chaos has begun. I am going to get my sharpie, blade and my ruler and I'm gonna draw the front. <laughs> Okay, this is where my project started going through its ugly phase. So I drew in some square windows thinking, okay, townhouse, maybe I did too many windows, I'm not too sure. Um, tried to redeem myself by doing some side windows. It was also very difficult trying to carefully cut the box with the kittens. Realistically, I probably should, should have put them into the other room, but I was very careful with the scissors there, although it looks like I nearly got their little paws. I covered my hand, they were safe.
apologies about the lighting. It's raining outside and it's getting dark. This looks like a prison. I have paper that I'm going to cover this in to make it floral. But my windows, it looks like a prison, not a townhouse dollhouse. So this is me thinking, I am not going to use my Cricut machine because that's not fair because I don't think Ewan has a Cricut machine. So we need to keep the playing field level and fair. This is what I'm thinking. I'll do nice side windows to try and make it look a bit more, you know. But if I cover it in the paper, which I was going to do anyway. Look, I made two little doors as well so they can get in and out. And then I thought these would be great punching holes. And these as well, because they can get the little paws through them. So, when I cover it in paper, I can draw the outline over with my Sharpie and draw in little window ledges and stuff to make it look less like a prism. Because right now it looks like a load of tiny holes. So I'm hoping when I put paper on it, I can draw the windows. Or else this is going into the recycle bin and I need to get a new box and start again. <laughs> Myself and the kittens had a cozy, stormy day in Ireland. So what better thing to be doing than finishing off this cat prison slash castle slash townhouse. I decided to cover it with this beautiful wallpaper. This wallpaper has been in my stash. I actually have it in mind for a nook upstairs in the bedroom that I want to create and I just keep meaning to do it but the year has been running away with me. Um, I know I don't need the two full rolls so it's okay to use this paper. I'm just measuring it out against the box. Thankfully the width of the box is slightly less than the width of the paper so I didn't have to waste a load of wallpaper. I am measuring, gluing it on, it's almost like wrapping the box as if it was a present. So wrapping a Christmas present. And I'm just using the glue gun to stick the paper to the box. Later on you'll see me just using the blade to cut the holes in. So I'm going to cut the windows in and cut all the details in. And the kittens, before I was putting the paper on um, that evening, they were using it and playing with it, which is the whole purpose. So um, their little tiny paws and their little heads can fit through a lot of the holes and they were just swiping each other and it was so, so cute.
By the time I had gotten to the roof, I had debated whether I was going to put a roof on. But I said I had a bit of cardboard from the inside, so I said I'll use it. But I ran out of steam, both emotionally and physically, by the time I got to doing the roof. And I think the roof looks like I ran out of steam. <laughs> I had run over time for this project and this video. So I popped the roof on, but I think it needs a bit of um, scalloped edge. Could be like a little cat scratchy detail. But yeah, by the time I got to the roof, your girl was tired. Some of you might be thinking, girl, you, <laughs> the kitten mittens are vicious. <laughs> or you get these tiny little scratches, you don't feel them. And then you're like, ah, okay, I felt that one. It's getting, the wheels are starting to come off now because they're giddy from playing. But I know what you're thinking. Girl, you got to the end of this and you, you ran out of steam. I did, I ran out of steam. The roof, that is an awful roof for my cat castle, it kind of feels like a castle. Also to weigh it down, last week I made, I'm just looking on my viewfinder here. Last week, well I actually think it was maybe two, three weeks ago, I made an Ikea rug hack. It's just a little uh, pillow for the kittens because they love that scratchy material. So there's a little bit of weight in it. So it actually perfectly fits. That wasn't planned. I love when things like that happen. Um, so that was, I'm putting it inside the box for a weight and that has helped weigh it down. I didn't do a second story because I was like, the lads will break this. When I saw them playing ferociously with it, no. Also, the other thing that I made in that DIY video, my dear, if you're new to my channel, this is not my finest work. A for effort, you can see my design idea, you can see, but the most important thing is, the kittens are playing with it. And I actually didn't have anything upstairs for the kittens to play with. Because <clears throat> when they arrived, I remember the, um, the lads in the DSPCA said, the first room you bring them into as a new cat or a kitten that you bring home, they associate that as their kind of safe space until they get settled. Um, so I had all of their toys in the living room and stuff. And now the kittens are well settled. And I didn't have anything kind of up here. They've just been playing with like, they'll find random bobbins and things. Um, so I'm gonna leave this up here for a little bit. And the great thing is if you do decide to make something um, like this, like the cardboard box can be recycled. I'm not sure how it works with the glue gun, but I mean, if I get a cardboard box, like just as a delivery and I flatten it and put it in the recycle, that does have glue on it, so actually let me know. Obviously it might be different for different areas. I think in Ireland, Repack is a recycling thing, um, or I could just look it up on my bin thing. But yeah, cardboard boxes with the salad tape and the stuff, I put them into the recycling and they get recycled. Like sometimes if I have too much cardboard, I'll go to the main center to drop it off. But yeah, the point is, I'm almost certain nearly all of this can be recycled. I'd have to double check on the wallpaper because obviously it's a thicker paper. Um, but just on gift wrap, I know that not a lot, not that it's not a lot, but gift wrap paper can't be recycled, some of it. Um, so I think the likes of the shiny stuff, it can't be recycled. So if you are, I'm so sorry, my legs are getting pins and needles. Um, if you are maybe doing something like this at Christmas time, just bear in mind about gift wrap and paper because I actually didn't know that about gift wrap and paper um, for a good while until I seen someone sharing it online. But you could do this in brown paper. 
The good thing about uh, wallpaper is it's nice and thick. So when the kittens scratch it, I wonder how long they'll get joy out of this. But cats love a cardboard box. So there's my cardboard box cat castle. <laughs> I promise to do better in future DIYs. I ran out of steam. I also ran out of time. I've gone over time on this project. Um, I was hoping to do this in a day and it ran over time. So that's why I didn't go into more detail with the roof. But I'm sure the kittens won't mind that I didn't slate the roof. Another thing I was thinking, a gingerbread house. If you got a white marker, um, when I was signing books, I found there's a white marker, I think it's Posca, a Posca pen, P-O-S-C-A. But they're a great white marker. Cause you know the sometimes you can get a white marker and it'll be too faint. The Posca pens, they're gold ones, silver, and they're white ones. Especially the white one gives you great coverage on a dark background. Um, so if you were to do a brown box, I can hear them downstairs, actually I might need to go check on these kittens, I just heard something in the kitchen. Um, but if you were to do a brown box and do the squiggles for a gingerbread house, I have really really old Christmas videos. I think I did a video last year with Loxanne and I did a gingerbread village, did I? I recycled something up there and I did a uh, gingerbread village, could be the year before as well. So yeah, there's my cat castle for you. <laughs> Not my finest work but now. If you would like some more cat, can you hear them? Hang on, lads! Bon, Björg. They're killing each other down there. I better go and check on them. Yeah, I see the box lasted two minutes. If you would like some more cat kitten goodness for a balm for your soul, head on over to Mr. Carrington's channel. We have both of our videos going live at the same time. So as soon as you watch this, you can head on over. His YouTube and his Instagram is just Mr. Carrington. He does have a home Instagram account as well, which I think is Mr. Carrington Home. Um, but if you head on over to YouTube, Mr. Carrington, you will not be disappointed. Do say hello and subscribe to his channel. He has such a lovely community as well in his comment section. Anytime I watch the videos, it's always just people just being really, really nice. It's a nice, friendly community. I'm gonna hang up my construction hat and I will see you in Sunday's video.